And at the exact same time, the Lord had released that word. Yeah. Should I share about the hospital thing? Yeah, so this is and the next This is the next thing the that next God thing had spoken that to that us. God spoke was, I was aware of the wealth transfer. I was digging, we're, and we're helping build a hospital in the next nearby town, yeah. and we're digging some deep, deep excavations. And um, I came across, what rolled out of the excavator bucket, we'll put a picture, we'll insert a picture here sh shortly. Mm -hmm. What rolled out of the excavator bucket was, a, it looks like a coin, a hard rock. An old ancient. It coin. looks like a, something that the ancient people, like from thousands upon thousands, of years, would have traded with. So you're excavating and how? We're excavating. Deep, 20, it was 20 about feet 20 feet below the surface of the ground, so it was undisturbed earth since the beginning of time. It's like not disturbed at all. But we can tell we, we excavate. What's if it's disturbed ground or not? It's, it's undisturbed ground, and it rolled out from the deep excavation, a, a, a coin-like thing, and it rolled out on the ground. Several days later, we were excavating again in the same exact spot, and out of a big dirt clod that came again from the bottom of the excavation was a, a circular disc type of, of hard, hardened clay. And it was, I put them, cleaned them up, took them home, and I was like, this is pretty cool. It's like artifacts. I don't know what they, they look are. Like, they look like old They look coins. like something you would trade with like thousands upon thousands of years ago. They're rock. They're like one's hardened clay. But God put them in the earth, mm -hmm. and the, the, the chances of them, me finding them, are so rare. Mm -hmm. And it rolled out of the bucket, and I was able to find them right at my, my feet. And now we put them on the shelf for um, about six weeks, and then I came to home the other day, and like Jenny, like I found some more interesting rocks. And Which were just jagged just rocks. Jagged rocks. They weren't they were nothing like similar to the coins just you had found. Gems they were just and things and crystals and rocks and. And I was at, I was, and then Jenny was like, "Oh, we have two coins." I said, already. "I said, I said, wait, Marcus. I said, how many of those sand dollars or coins did you find?" And you said, two. Two. And I so said, like, oh. "That's it. Two dollars." Because we had also been asking the Lord. How much? What are mm. we supposed to sell at? We're mm. hearing all sorts of stuff. Ten mm. cents, one dollar, thirteen dollars, and so you know we're asking God, what are we? What are we doing this at? Like, what's it? What's it? Like, what? Speak to us, Lord. So I'm like, that's it, two dollars. Um, and so that's what we got from the Lord. Um, mm. That we are in our personal life, we're going to sell it at two dollars. I remember Matt Cray said to wait until it hits the spike. There's going to be a first spike which is not as much, so that could be a dollar, we're not sure. But then there's the second spike in the chart when the when the, the Shiba coin goes up, uh, it should go to $2, and that's when we're supposed to, to sell it and take it, and then we're done with Shiba. This is the, the one-time wealth transfer blessing to the body of Christ for God's chosen people. The end of summer is actually September 22nd, and again, there's uh, some, something significant with two. For some reason, God is doing something with the number two because September 22nd, 2022, um, you know, we're getting that and at two dollars. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to get up in the middle of the night because um, part of the instructions was at midnight. And so we're going to um, get up at midnight at, on September 22nd and check the trade and, and sell it at two dollars. And so... Um, and then uh, take it out and also um, uh, have the digital wallet so you can safely, securely have your coin stabilized in a digital wallet. Um, you can have some in the bank, but I think um, the word was is to have a nano digital wallet. And I, I believe that's so that it's safekeeping. Um, right now, the banks have too much power over our money. They can freeze it. They could take it. They could do whatever they want with it. They could <laughs> take money out of accounts. Then they can move money around when you don't even realize it. He's taking us through a great exodus where, where at midnight, at midnight, God said, hey, it's time, time to go. It's time to go. It's been, it's done. It, you pack your bags, your bags are packed, you are and free. you are free.